while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. How you doing, man? We talking about what God wants the young woman to do. Yeah. We show our sister Jennifer what God wants the young man to That's do. He right. wants the young men to show themselves men and keep the command. That's right. We not taught how to be men. We not taught how to be women. Yeah. Young women are taught that their value is their bodies. Right. So when they have that mindset, 30 years later, she done been hoeing. She got the mindset, use what you got to get what you want. We all heard that, right? So years go by, what does she have to show for it? What will change the black man's mind? Jennifer, Jennifer, come over, come over. Five minutes. Come around here. Check okay. these signs out. You ever heard of us before? Yeah, I've seen y'all on TikTok. You've seen us on TikTok. All right. I'm Officer Asa, Israel United Christ. We're going to show you what we're about. Because you say you've seen us on TikTok. Right, you've seen us when we went through Parkway. Right? So what are we about? What you know outside outside of that, outside of the TikTok video? Hey, hold on, hold on. I like what you said. It's real men waking up. What make a man? Okay. 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 All that's good is one thing that's going to comprise all of that. Keeping God's commandments. So first, let me show you that. What make a man? You got a son? You got three sons. So they need to learn what make a man. Give me 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 2. Then you came up, you gave me a pound like one of the guys. No, no, no. No no pound. That's for the brothers to do that. Yeah, you, the handshake was fine. It's all right. You ain't have to redo nothing. I'm just saying, you know. First Kings 2 and 2, this is what you got to show your sons. Because before I knew this, I thought a real man was, okay, he got a lot of women. That's what young men talk. Right. Do your sons got a father figure or somebody they can learn from? Many young men don't. Right. That's why I'm showing you this, because you got to show them this after you leave us. What make a man? Read. The book of First Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. Yep. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou there strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So this is King David talking to his son Solomon. King David about to die. Like, for example, you got your granddaddy. He bring everybody in the room, and he lay down the, the rules. He say, look, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. So he talking to his son. He say, listen to me. I'm about to die. Let me tell you this before I go. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To walk in his way. Uh-huh. To keep his statutes. And his commandments, uh -huh. and his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses. Jump up, you missed the point. Verse two. Verse two. Verse two. I go. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. What he tell him? Show yourself a man. How you do that? Read. Verse three. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in His ways, to keep His statutes. And his commandments. And his what? And his commandments. So what make a man? He got to keep yes. the commandments. So let's get some commandments real quick. So that's what you got to show your sons. Now, what does God require of the woman? To be the nurturer of the commandments. I like that. Give me 1 Timothy 5 and 14. I would that the young women do what? Let's get that. What does God want the young women to do? Because you heard what he wants the young men to do. He said, show yourself a man and keep the commandments. They don't keep the commandments in the church. That's why you can ride up and down Halsted and it's like 300 churches. But brothers still selling drugs. They still killing each other. So the church don't have the answers. You know where the answer is? In the Bible. Right. That's why you saw over a thousand men march through Parkway. The Bible is what changed them, sis. 
The Bible is what will change your sons if they ain't behaving right. 1 Timothy 5, 14. I'm with that the younger women. Read that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 14. We finna see what does God want the young woman to do. Read. I will, therefore, that the younger women marry. Do what? Marry. Are they promoting marriage to our daughters? That's Independency, right. what else? I know, because you say you watch TikTok. They don't need a man. They don't need a man. What else they promote yeah. to our daughters? Say say what? Sex. Sex, that's it. Sexy. Come on, give me some more. You say you listen to you watch TikTok. You seen us on TikTok. So I know you see what they promote to the little girls. Oh, yep. Same sex. What else they promote to the little girls? As popping and twerking. What do God want the young women to do? Read that again. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children. Did God say have babies first, then get married? Or he said get married first, then have children? What the Bible say? That's right. They don't teach us that. My brothers, my sisters coming off the bus. Five minutes. This is valuable information. They don't teach us that. I got daughters. When I see that stuff, it make my blood boil. I don't like seeing that. You being a mother, being a parent, you shouldn't like seeing that. I know you got sons, but if you got nieces, look cousins, you got to show them this stuff that we finna show you. God don't want the young women popping their ass and twerking like you just said. Did not a video go viral and them on 75th, little girls on top of police cars shaking their ass? That went viral. How you doing, ma'am? We talking about what God wants the young woman to do. Yeah. We show our sister Jennifer what God wants the young man to That's do. He right. wants the young men to show themselves men and keep the command. That's right. We not taught how to be men. We not taught how to be women. Yeah. Young women are taught that their value is their bodies. That's right. So when they have that mindset, 30 years later, she done been hoeing. She got the mindset, use what you got to get what you want. We all heard that, right? So years go by, what does she have to show for it? Nothing. Kids, you say kids, stretch marks, what else? And uh, it out. But that's the truth though. But that's the truth though. You ain't said nothing wrong. That's the truth. So that behavior does not benefit our young daughter. That's right. So I'm going to show you this too, man. What's your name? Miss Chris. Chris Jennifer. Read this. Miss Chris, do you got daughters? Four daughters. I got daughters too. This what the young girls got to learn. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 14. Uh -huh. I will, therefore, that the younger women marry. They have to learn to be married. Whoa, bruh. Come around, come around, come around. Yes, I do. Come around, come around, come around, come around. Your problem is yelling. You need to listen to what we're talking about. Are you playing? Oh, what's going on, bro? Get a flyer. Get a flyer. Get a flyer. Read. I will, therefore, that the younger women marry. Uh huh. Read. Bear children. Uh huh. God the help. Wait a minute. Chris, Jennifer, what that just say? It said, get married first. Then have children. Then it said what? God the, the house. This is what God wants the young women to do. What are we talking about, my brother? What's your name? What? D. Koch. So D. Koch, Chris, Jennifer. What we talking about is what God wants the young women to do. Because believe it or not, it's an attack on our children. That's, That's right. why they pumping that stuff out. That's not by accident. So God told the young women, get married, have children, guy the house. Is that what we see in the black community? That's right, bring it out. No, we don't see that. We, we, do, we, see, we see the mama guy in the house, but we don't see the marriage. We don't, we don't see those, those things. Don't Today see is very slim. It's very slim. A lot of young mamas, I'm going to say mamas, period. It don't matter the age. A lot of mothers, this is what they do. Proverbs 7 and 10. That's what God says the woman should be. But when we look in our community, this is what we see. Proverbs 7 and verse 10. Proverbs 7 and verse 10. 
This is what we see. That's what we're supposed to see. But what we don't understand, the behavior of the parents affects the children. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 10. Uh -huh. And behold, there, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. With the attire of a what? A harlot. What's a harlot? What's a harlot? You ever heard that word before? A harlot is a whore. So let's read that again. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Do not the women of today wear clothing of whores? That's right. Think about it. When you see these shops, right, that the Arabs got, how does all the clothes look? You got daughters like I got daughters. Would you allow your daughters, and you probably got nieces and little cousins, would you allow them to wear the clothes that they sell to our people? No. That's the attire of what? A harlot. Of a what? And harlot. So the women of today, they wear skippy clothes, breasts out, butt out, leggings show the shape of their vagina. This is the clothes. This is the outfits of today. Read. And subtle of heart. And subtle of heart. Women is taught, young women is taught today, how can I be slick? How can I get something out this man? How can I get what I want from him? I don't really want to deal with him. How can I manipulate his mind? Right, bring it out. Read. She is loud. She is what? Loud. How are the young women today? Loud mouth. Loud mouth. Don't know how to be quiet. Read. And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. You ever try to tell a young woman something? You know something? I was talking to an older lady one day. She said, I be trying to help them, but then they roll their eyes at me. She said, I try to tell them how to make a better situation, but they'll snap at me. They ready to cuss me out. Is not the Bible on point? Is that not how the women of today act and behave? Read. And stubborn. And her feet abide not in her house. Wait a minute. What did God just say? And her feet abide not in her house. The women of today. That's why I said all the mothers is not God in the house. Some of the mothers fit what we read right here. Right. Some of the mothers fit what we was reading earlier. How you doing, sis? We going over what God want the woman to be. Yeah. So the first scripture that we read, because you just walked up. The first scripture we read, God said he wants the young women to get married first, then have children and guide the house. What we going over now, we showing that that's not the mindset of all the women today. That's right. Some of the women fit this right here. Read that again. She is loud and stubborn. She is what? Loud and stubborn. Uh-huh. And her feet abide not in her house. When God said her feet, don't abide in the house. What is he saying? Jennifer, what is he saying? Oh, she don't take, she got the house, but what? She got the house, but it ain't no balance in that house. Ain't no structure. Chris. God said her feet don't abide in the house. What is he saying? No structure. What about you, sis? God said this woman that he talking about, this type of woman, her feet don't abide in her house. What is he saying? There you go. There you go. So these is the characteristics. She loud. She stubborn. And she ain't never in the house. What type of mother is this? Is this a good mother or a bad mother? An irresponsible mother. What God just described right here, these is the ones that dropped the baby off at grandma's house and hit the club. Don't I know I ain't the only one. Don't leave me on no island by myself. Y'all may know some of these type of women. Some of them may be in your family. So as a result, okay, the father is not there sometimes. The mother is running the street. What happens to the child? Give me second address five and eight. So the father gone. The mama running the streets. Grandma, here, ma, hold my baby. I got to go out. 
She trying to go to the party. She trying to go where it's lit, where it's live at. You leave the child with grandma. I was one of the children that was with grandma. It's only so much that grandma can do in my life. Especially with boys. I'm going to tell you. Because once the boy get bigger than grandma, what's she going to do? She can't do nothing. And then the girl, once she get big, she talking back to grandma. And she going to sneak and find her way outside. That's how it go. Read. The book of 2nd Edges, chapter 5 and verse 8. God is going to tell you what type of children are produced from that. Read. There should be a confusion also in many places. I know we seeing confusion today. We are seeing confusion. You walking down the street. Why do you got to guess or try to figure out if it's a man or a woman walking past you? That's confusion. Look. Miss Chris, before you go, during your time, because you a little older than us standing here, that wasn't commonplace. Now, you like, ma'am, sir. Then if you at work, then if you at work, if you say the wrong thing, oh, sensitivity training. Right, right, right. Blue was for the boys, pink was for the girls. Since when? Since I'm with you. I'm with you. Since when? That's crazy. But that's showing you the Bible is real. How they say this and then we looking at it. Read. There shall be what? Confusion. And also in many places. Uh-huh. And the fire be all sent out again. Are we not seeing natural disasters? That's right. We are seeing natural disasters all over the world. That's why we can't play. We got to get right with God now. Read. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Are not you seeing animals leave their habitat? You seeing wild animals end up in people's alley. Wild animals ending up in public places attacking people. Read. And mistress women. Uh oh, what type of women? Mistress women. Irresponsible mamas. Remember, because this is what she was pointing out. In the Bible, on point with that. That stuff ain't just out of the blue. The Bible said these things would happen, and when we look on the news, that's what we see. Read. Shall bring forth monsters. What type of children? Monsters. What type of children? Monsters. And these be the ones they son just let off a whole, a whole clip, a 50-round drum on the block, hit kids, babies, and everything. She come on the news like this. Bring his second grade picture. Oh no, my baby ain't do that. My baby would never do that. Hold on, wait a minute. My name, Asa, also Asa. They pull up the second grade picture and then say, my baby ain't do that. Read that again. Cause this what they do. They hear that they daughter is the neighborhood hoe. They bring up the preschool picture with the bar rats. That's not who outside. Read it again. And mistress women shall bring forth monsters. So how did the child become a monster? Remember, the father gone, the mama running the streets. That's you right. leave a child alone to they self, they turn into a monster. Bring it out. Bring it out. Idle mind. Idle mind. I'm glad you said that. Sirach 33 and 27. So a child can't be left to they self because Jennifer said an idle mind. I don't mind me you got too much free time. What does God say about that? An idle man. Chapter 33, verse 27. Sirach. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 27. Read. Send him to labor. Do what? Send him to labor. All y'all parents right here. Miss Chris probably got grandkids. When a child gets to a certain age, you supposed to send they behind to work. My baby had an interview today. You ain't laughing. That's yeah. good. That's good. They not supposed to just be free like, man, let me see what I'm going to do. I might go on 111. Let me walk around. Right. No. Because when they idle, they get into trouble. That's I'm right. speaking from experience. When I was left alone, I got into trouble. When I didn't have no business, Miss Chris noticed saying, boy, go find you some business. 
Girl, go find you some business. When you ain't got no business, you get into trouble. You idle. Or you gonna get in somebody else's business. Read. That he might, sorry, that he be not a labor. Sorry. Read it again from the top. Hey, bro. Send him to labor. That he be not idle. Give him something to do or her to do so they not idle. Read. For idleness teaches much evil. When you're idle, you have time to meditate on evil. That's right. Oh, who is that? Let's knock them out, take their cell phone. Exactly. Oh, let me go walk over here, buy some weed. This is how that stuff happened. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.